Hi there, this is my Haddad here again. So today I was playing with the failover on Microtech Router OS version 7. So you can see here it is version 7. So this router which is over here is connected to two ISPs. So if you look here, if I go to IP DHCP client, so he's getting internet from those two ISPs on those two interfaces. And he is giving the internet to, this is like a PC, I call it PC. So what I've done, I'm just played with the route. I said, okay, I want all the traffic to go from ISP1. So because that one has distance two and ISP2 has a distance three. That means this is the route that is gonna be used. Now, I want to make a check like if this route go down, then the internet will flow from the second route. But there are some cases where you will see that if this one goes down, then and this one goes uh, up because that where route goes down. Then you see that the computer, which is over here, will keep sending all this traffic from that ISP because the connection is already open. So if he's playing game or if he's uh, doing uh, whatever the traffic is doing, then all the traffic will keep going from ISP one. So what I've done, I made a script, and I'm not going to show you what is this script. Uh, so because if you want uh, this uh, to happen to you, please contact me so I can assist. But I made a script in a way where I say, okay, I will be doing the ping with, to an IP which is after ISP1. Now, if this ping goes down, then this route will go down and this one will go up. And all connections which I will open on this uh, route will be closed and the new connections will be open. Let me show you this uh, experiment. So this is my computer here. If I make ping to yahoo.com, before I make it ping to yahoo.com, let me show you that everything now is going from 10.10.10.1, which is the gateway. If I do here tools and I go to trash route, and I make to this is a Yahoo IP, you see everything is going to 10.10.10.1, which is this route, which is the main route I'm using ISP1. Now let's open a ping to yahoo.com. So you see that the ping is working, everything is fine. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make a stop for uh, on uh, the uh, router one. Uh, I'm gonna stop the ping with, to the IP which is after ISP1 because the problem happens not sometimes on the ISP1 on the interface, but on the IP after ISP1. So I have emulated this by using this uh, firewall rule. So I'll say here, drop look what's going to happen here you see in a moment that this would go off here we go this goes off and this is now the one which is active it doesn't show yet active because it is gns3 i'm using now but look to the pink here from my pc you didn't have any drop of connections so uh, i mean the ping was still working of course all the connections were wiped but the ping were still working and now if you want, let's close this one. And I have to say again, IP route, it should show that this is the active one. Yeah. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I want to stop that ping. So disable it. You see now directly that ISP1 will be back on. Look. And look also to the ping from the PC. Look over here. So this will go active in a moment. Here we go. It is active. And here we go that all the traffic now are still working. Again, this now should not be active. And it's not, in fact, active. If you want, I can just show you the trace route. Tools, trace route. You see that everything will be going from 10.10.10.1 and not from 10.20.20.1. All right, so uh, what you need to do is just to close that one, IP route. You see it is now inactive. That's small bug from Microtech about uh, the version 7, but that's okay. But you see that it is really working and this saved a lot of hassles for a lot of people. If you want to run similar things on your network, whether on version 7 or on version 6, please contact me to my email. I will leave it in my description of this video and I will be very happy to assist you. Of course, it's not going to be free of charge, but uh, with a very reasonable price. Thank you very much for uh, the time you spent watching this video and uh, till next time.